Pipeflow Expert is the premier software application for designing, analyzing, and solving the flow rates and pressure drops in a pipe system. Pipeflow Expert can model both open and closed loop pipe systems with multiple pumps in series and in parallel and with numerous components, control valves and pipe fittings. It can model systems with large numbers of supply and discharge points and takes account of flow under gravity, changes in elevation and pumping requirements. It is used by engineers in over 75 countries worldwide. Here are some genuine customer quotes. Pipeflow Expert has revolutionized the way we design. Great software, superlative service. Your customer support for your excellent products is simply superb. Pipeflow Expert runs on Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7 and Windows 8 operating systems and even works with touchscreen displays. Pipeflow Expert also comes with its own fluid database. This contains fluid properties for various liquids and gases. Users can also add their own fluid data by entering the temperature, pressure, density and viscosity of their fluid. The software allows up to 20 different fluid zones within a system and balances the mass flow rate in and out of each node. It is easy to configure different units for items within a Pipeflow Expert system. Simply click on this ruler and the configuration option screen is shown with the units tab open. Here we can select different units for length or different units for pipe diameters. We can also select different units to show head losses in meters of fluid, feet of fluid or bar or PSI. In addition, at each node where the pressure is calculated and shown, we can again select units to be bar, PSI or KPA. And here at the bottom we can just switch on mass between imperial or metric units. This makes it very easy to visualize items on the drawing and even in results mode the unit screen can be opened and changed and the results update instantly. Pipeflow Expert also comes with over 40 example systems. These demonstrate how to model tanks, flow demands, fittings and bends, and T's. We can flick through the examples by clicking next example. This system shows how to model enlargements and contractions or different pump types, or control valves with CV and KV values, heat exchangers and cooling coils, sprinklers and spray nozzles, flow control valves, pressure reducing valves, or back pressure valves. The software also contains some larger example systems. Let's go ahead and load Isometric 01 chilled water cooling. Here we can zoom into the drawing using the mouse wheel and we can drag the drawing around by clicking on the white space. If we click on a pump, we can see the pump data that has been entered and the pump curve. We can also open the pump database and we could choose a different pump. We might be looking for a pump that can produce 1650 litres per minute at a head of 45 metres fluid we click on find pumps, this searches the database and brings back any pumps from the database, either those that are predefined with Pipeflow Expert as examples or user pumps that have been added to the database where a pump library has been built. This looks like a good pump with a good efficiency. If we double click, this pump is then selected and we can save this back to the pipe. We can now go ahead and click Calculate. This system is solved. If we say View Results Drawing, we could again click on the pump and we can actually see the exact operating point. We can see the flow rate is actually 1697 litres per minute, the fluid head of 45.2. Drawing a system in Pipeflow Expert is easy. Let's go ahead and define a small system that pumps water between two tanks. Select the tank tool, 
we can add tanks onto the drawing. If we select the pipe tool, we can draw pipes. Here we get a first pipe reminder telling us the material and length and diameter that we're drawing with by default. We can change these values later. Let's connect the two tanks. Now let's set the pipe information. Let's put this to 10 meters. Let's make this pipe 5 meters. Let's make this pipe 10 meters. Now let's set the elevations. Set the elevation of this node to 5 meters and the end tank elevation also to 5 meters. The first tank, let's put 2 meters of liquid, leave the elevation at 0. Let's add a pump onto the first pipe. Here we can define a pump with a flow versus head loss curve, or we can set a head increase or a flow rate. Let's go and set 20 US gallons per minute. Let's change our units so that flow rates are always shown on the results drawing in US gallons per minute. And we can calculate the system. And we can view the results on the drawing. Here, if we hover over the pipe, we can see that the pump head has been calculated at the bottom of the pop-up, showing at 3.00 meters head. We can also bring up the results sheet, and this will give us further information on each pipe, its roughness, length, flow, velocity. If we scroll across to the right, we can see the entry pressure, exit pressure, the Reynolds number, flow type, and the friction losses. Let's go ahead and make some changes to this system. Let's return to design mode. Click redesign. We can now change the pipe sizes. Let's select all of the pipes in this system. And we'll click here to show the current default pipes. Let's change the diameter. We're currently on a steel schedule 40 pipe. Change to imperial. We can see a 4 inch pipe is the current default. Let's change this to a 1 inch pipe and say save. Now this has just updated the default pipe but we can copy this diameter data to all of the pipes in the system. Let's click copy all diameter data. We say OK. Now if we hover over one of the pipes we can see that the internal diameter is reduced to be 1 inch or 26.6 millimeters. We can also switch into isometric drawing mode. If I click on the ISO button it tells us that the current drawing will be transposed onto the isometric grid. Say OK. If we click on a tank we can also change the tank icon and adjust its size. We could make it 200%. And if we want to move items around, we can simply click the drag and move tool. Now dragging items doesn't alter the logical model and is just allows a different visual representation. We've changed the pipe size to be 1 inch. Let's resolve this system. Again we get the log and if we view the results drawing and hover over pipe 1, now we're on a 1 inch pipe we can see we get friction loss of 2.48 meters head and we can see that the pump head calculated has increased and in this case requires 9.2 meters head to meet the same 20 US gallons per minute flow rate. We can also create a PDF report of this system. Simply click on results PDF and here we can set a company name, a project name and an engineering reference we can choose to add our logo to the cover sheet and we can put a title and a subtitle on each page and decide which information to include in the report. Here we can also select whether we want a page for fluid data, pump data, pipe data, energy data and we can select individual items 
within each of those sections. Let's leave the defaults and go ahead and click Create PDF Report. Within just a few seconds, we have a PDF report sheet open. And here we have a high resolution drawing of the system and we have the information such as fluid data, pump data and the pipe data. Let's review some of the features of Pipeflow Expert. The software comes with its own fluid database. It has some data on liquids and gases and contains standard fluid properties. Users can also add their own fluid data with just a few clicks. In addition, Pipeflow Expert also has its own fittings database. This includes information on standard bends and different valves. Users again can add their own fitting data to represent gradual enlargements, gradual contractions, or sudden enlargements and sudden contractions. The software also has its own pipe materials database. And here we can see aluminium pipe at different schedules, brass, cast iron, copper, all the way through to steel and various steel schedules. When we select a pipe material, the software knows the standard pipe sizes within that particular material. Pipeflow Expert also comes with its own pump database. We can click on a pump, we can see the current performance data, and we can click to open the pump database. Here, we can browse through different pumps in a pump library. And users can also add their own libraries and define their own pump data. We can also search the pump database. For example, for a pump that can do a flow rate of 60 US gallons per minute at a head of 80 feet fluid. The software will find the pumps that can meet this particular performance criteria. And here we can scroll through the results. We can double click to select a pump and we can save that pump back to the pipe. Pipeflow Expert also has tabbed design sheets. We can open a new tab and we can load a new system. We can flick between tabs. We can even solve a system and be in results mode on one tab whilst when we change back we're in design mode, looking at a different system. This is very powerful and allows the user to have multiple systems open, sometimes with different configurations of the same system, where they can view and analyze the different results. If you need to design pipe systems, solve the flows and pressure drops across a network, and calculate pump head requirements, then you need Pipeflow Expert, the premier software application with the best in class and easiest to use interface. We're known for our robust calculation engine and great support. Visit pipeflow.com and download a free trial today.